something a little different from the typical meatloaf. I'm Tess, and I will show you how I make my meatloaf filled with southwestern flavors. Stay tuned! Tonight I'm making a southwest meatloaf filled with flavor and served with guacamole and a baked potato. A real easy recipe, and you probably have most of the ingredients on hand. In a skillet on medium heat, I'm adding in a couple tablespoons of butter, a half a cup each of diced onions, red bell pepper, and green bell pepper, and two cloves of minced garlic. Cooking and stirring for four to five minutes, or until the veggies are tender, and then removing from the heat to slightly cool. You could also add in some diced jalapeno for a little kick. I have about two pounds of 80-20 ground beef, and I'm adding in my cooled veggies. Adding in one large egg, half a cup of breadcrumbs, half a cup of your favorite salsa, and I'm using a chunky mild salsa, quarter teaspoon each of salt and black pepper, two teaspoons of chili powder, and one teaspoon of cumin. You could also add in some oregano, smoked paprika for some smokiness, or some cilantro giving that a good mix to incorporate, and you don't want to overmix. Placing the meatloaf into an oiled loaf pan and leveling out. The meatloaf goes into a 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for 50 to 60 minutes or until the internal temp reaches 160 degrees. The meatloaf is done and smelling good. Letting it rest for 15 minutes before slicing. Serving tonight with a large baked potato with some cheese and sour cream. And to go along with the Southwest meatloaf is a dollop of guacamole. The Southwest meatloaf has great flavors and is a nice change to the traditional meatloaf. I hope you give the Southwest meatloaf recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!